Hello YouTube, this is Blackberry Pie in Minecraft. So, here is a seven segment display from the UTD. I believe it is Divals, if I'm pronouncing that right, I hope. And then I, instead of using redstone torches, I am adapting it to use uh, pistons which block lava flow. And I'm demonstrating how fast that the display updates, which is fast enough. And then also one small problem with the display is two pixels aren't lighting uh, properly. And that's not a problem with my design or the UTD's design. It's a problem with pistons. There's a glitch where they receive power when they shouldn't and then they stay on. Which I'll show, go into further detail shortly. Um, I have been having map trouble there's this one chunk which keeps deciding that it belongs somewhere else, and it does not. And it's done this twice, so I decided not to do any further experimenting with uh, circuitry in that one chunk, and I have moved this display over here. Uh, it was a real pain to replace it two separate times. So... Here's one close-up of the problem in the display. Um, you can reset that one piston by resetting a block next to it, like so. But the problem is when a block above and to one side is powered, it will also power the piston below when a block next to the below piston is updated, in this case by the lava falling down. And see, it'll stay on. It'll stay extended until you update up, until you remove the power source, and then update a block next to it again. And then it'll turn off. And then here's me showing that with just one unit, so it's not all in the way and stuff. Piston lever. And then here's some rest of torches. And that wire will make that block powered, which is above the piston, into one side. It doesn't matter which side it is on. Nothing happens, nothing happens, but when you update the p a block next to the piston, in this case I'm using redstone, but it would doesn't matter how you update it, then it'll stay on repeatedly even when you remove that wire. And then to get it to stop, you have to remove the powered block and then, and then update a block next to it again. So... See, nothing happens, nothing happens. Remove the power from the block, and then update the, the pi a block adjacent to the piston. So, before I rendered this video, I thought up a simple solution that will work for the time being, until this, this piston glitch is fixed. You'll notice that those two pixels are no longer causing a problem, because they're updating correctly. And the fix was really simple, I just added a repeater um, on the one block that was causing the problem uh, powering, uh, being powered. And just add a repeater there and there, and you're good to go. This is Blackberry Pie.